Hi, I'm Bob Legathi, and I'll be teaching you how to use advanced outlines in Synfig. Now, the standard Synfig tutorials do not do justice to the advanced outlines and what you can do with them, and they also do not t tell you how to attach it to a vector. So, it's a very long and complicated process on how to attach an outline to a vector. All you have to do is right click, go to the drop down menu, and select Make Advanced Outline. And now, when you edit your vector, the outline edits with it. Do that to both of our shapes, click the wrong thing, uh, make advanced outline, and regular shapes, they do not have that in their uh, menu, so you do have to have a uh, region shape instead of a standard radius shape. So we're going to go ahead and uh, delete, delete me, because yes. Now, the main difference between an advanced and uh, regular outline is how you can change the thickness. With an advanced outline, you have these uh, little purple dots that you can move and change the thickness anywhere. With the regular outlines, which if we uh, go ahead and make one, make outline, you'll notice the purple dots are fixed and you cannot change where they are. So we're not going to worry about the thickness there. But we are going to worry about it. It's, it's thicker than I am, so we're going to shave it down a little bit. I get jealous, all right? Now, for these purple dots, they have several features. Clicking on the little light purple dot, you can right-click and cusp before or after, which will do this. You'll notice it... Uh, You'll notice the whole thing sort of tapers off nicely. That's kind of what we want, but uh, to cut it off nicely, you just have to do the opposite on the other one. Now to add a, another outline dot, the, another one of these purple ones, just in case you want it to taper for only a little distance, uh, you're gonna select your light purple dot, right click, insert item, and keep shape. And now we have another purple dot that we can have there. And we're going to repeat that again, because why not make things even? Now we can just manually taper this down using the dark purple dot. And we can change the position of it. So now it has a nice little uh, taper on both sides and we can make a very nice looking outline with that. This one, not so much, but that one doesn't matter. You'll also notice me messing with all the tools up here. You're going to need to turn on the purple dot one in order to be able to change the widths. And I usually keep it off or have it be the only one on when I'm uh, doing things. But so far, so good. We have the regular outlines covered and how to use them. But we can also make single lines, which these are not connected to anything, although they can be. But our point right now is to teach you how to make a regular advanced outline. So you're going to have to select an advanced outline. You can change the uh, size of it and everything here. So we're going to set it to about 5 pixels right there. And done. Now you'll notice it's generated several dots for us. If we have uh, enough of a problem on our hands. And if we want to uh, change the widths, the tools are right here, but that's not what we're going to worry about. What we're going to worry about is the end caps itself without changing uh, anything on these, because there's another way to get a nice flat or round outline on here. That is in the little white box of shame. Now, if we wanted to change the thickness of the whole thing, we just find the outline width parameter down here in the little white box of shame and if we scroll down we can look at uh, these three things cusp type sharp type at the end type at the start and we're gonna set all this to round and the cusp type since it's not having a short sharp that's staying in there sharp sharp yeah anyway since it's not having a sharp it doesn't need pants uh, but 
That is how we uh, make the outlines and have them do whatever the heck we want. Now, if we do want to make a dashed line, which is a lot easier than drawing a bunch of tiny lines, there is a dashed line on and off thing, which we can double click and get ourselves a dashed line, which has a bunch of parameters we can change. Mostly the dash item 001 parameters and the offset. If we change that, we can change it to one, have the dashes closer together. Which yes, this is as annoying to do as it looks. You can also change those to one to have a lot of tiny ones, the thicknesses. We'll just have to play around with it to get used to it. But now let's let's assemble what we made and uh, make everybody ashamed of themselves. Because I am a child and this would not be complete without something to giggle at. There we go. Look at what we made. We made everybody uncomfortable. And group layer. Yeah, congratulations. We made everybody uncomfortable. Anyways, I'm Bob Godley. Uh, thanks for watching my tutorial. That's how you use advanced outlines. If you want to see another tutorial in the future, uh, just go ahead and tell me what you want in the comments or what questions you have or what you want to figure out how to do. I will gladly research it and look it up because the wiki doesn't do any of this justice either. I'm Bob the Godly, and if you like my content, show some support and subscribe to my YouTube channel, or you can just dislike every video like my buddy Tom does. Either way, eat healthy and spread some mischief.